What is my vision for Cape Breton? My vision for Cape Breton is a growth in population, but it's it, it might be immigrants, okay? Immigrants from Ontario or from Alberta or from Syria or India or whatever, but I wanna see a surge in population of young people, of people that have decided, you know, this is a great place to, to raise kids or have babies and get married and just like, start businesses or whatever, but this is what I want to see. I want to see a growth in population. I'd like to see diversity. I'd like to see ideas um, and expertise coming from away while respecting what's already here that's great. I think that Cape Breton's got a unique platform that lots of people could benefit from and could contribute to, and I think that would be a beautiful thing. I would like Cape Breton to be someone's first thought in terms of a place to live for a young person. Growing up, you were kind of encouraged to leave, which can be beneficial because you leave, you learn, you grow, and then you come back. But it would be nice if it wasn't a place you had to escape in order, in order to grow. I would like there to be a lot of initiatives within the island that were encouraging young people to stay. Not as many families and young people moving away. The kids don't grow up waiting for the day that they can move away. For us to create um, an economy and an environment where people want to stay here um, or not even just that they want to because I think that they can stay here. I'd like to see things picked up a bit on the environmental end. I'd like to see more protection for the Bredore Lakes. You look around from coming somewhere and there's garbage and that along the roads, the sides of the roads aren't kept, the medians aren't kept. It's, I would like to see better, you know, and, and people can feel better about living and working here and feel proud. And I'd like to see that those type of things um, improve. My vision or my hopes and dreams for Cape Breton is that we are able to find the self-confidence and the empowerment to lift ourselves out of some of the oppressive environments that historically we've been part of. I know that's like big <laughs> picture. I just think that it's really, really important that we, we are able to address those things. And I think one of those is to help people own their own businesses, to create work and to create meaningful work. I would like to see Cape Breton functioning year round in 10 years from now. I would like to see adventurous people taking risks and opening businesses that will blow the minds of our tourists. Cape Breton has all those capabilities and has all that accessibility. Um, I would love to see winter action on the island and I think we're close. My vision for Cape Breton in 10 to 20 years is a place where my children feel like they have the option to stay here. When we were growing up here there probably was opportunity for employment, but it was really like right away, you finished high school, you were off the island, you went to Halifax and nobody came home. So I think it's really exciting to be here and to be working on something that potentially will employ people. And I think that's what is really important for Cape Breton. I think the, our vision for the island is just, I mean, I think it's really optimistic and hopeful that, you know, there is a bright future here. And I think it's really around kind of shifting the conversation and just people's perspective about Cape Breton. Um, unfortunately, I feel like there's still a lot of negativity. And I think that's really sad because there's so many positives to living here and to working here. Um, so I think if we took a little bit more time to celebrate, um, you know, some of the successes of the island, then it would just create, a, you know, almost like an incubator yeah. for more people to want to, to live, work, and yeah. build their families and their lives here. I like what it is now. I, I like that we can keep the sustenance of what Cape Breton is and that's its beauty and not filling it with so much outside that we we forget who we are and, and, and why people actually come here. I think Cape Breton needs to become a healthier community uh, and I think there's lots of great initiatives uh, underway right now that are taking us in that direction uh, but more needs to be done. It's nice seeing like innovative businesses moving here and we would love, love to continue seeing that like in Sydney like um, 
smaller businesses that are like setting up shop here, providing jobs. You know, it's it's great. It's a beautiful, wonderful, like place to like live and raise a family. So um, and affordable too. So if you, we can continue to attract businesses like this, then I think that Cape Breton has a really viable future. And you know, it's a shame when people are born here and from here and want to be here and can't be. So. I don't know, it's like we feel like really like hopeful for, for um, you know, 10 to 20 years from now. <laughs> yeah. My vision for the future of Cape Breton is that it keeps growing. Uh, as much as we don't like change, we do want change here. And I think it's, it's starting new businesses and being able to adapt and grow with the community. Uh, I do enjoy the creative economy. I do believe that that is missing on this end of Cape Breton as a large en masse kind of uh, offering. And I believe it's something that people come looking for when they come from away. So we are definitely a tourism product. We certainly can have what it takes to become a class, first class tourism destination. I notice a huge shift huge shift, even in just the past five years. It feels just more vibrant and it feels much more alive. That feeling is what reinvigorates a place. That's what does it. What causes it is a cultural shift where people can own their own destinies. And that's what entrepreneurship does. And that's why we need entrepreneurship all over the island. All over the island, in every single sector. That's, that's the solution to the problem that we've got going on. I think we, we can't continue to look to governments to solve our problems. We can't continue to, you know, sit and identify a problem and not come up with a solution. It's sad, you know, to see a lot of the, the things that are going on in Cape Breton, um, but I think we have to be part of the solution and part of, you know, part of, um, uh, of making a difference here. It's just to have the, you know, to, to, to be able to take that risk is, is a, is a big thing, but I think we need to risk it because we, we should be part of the solution and not part of the problem. In 20 years time, I think I see an island uh, of entrepreneurs. I see the number of men and women entrepreneurs to be equal. I, I see the opportunities for women to be unlimited. Um, I see the next generation of women uh, following Today's women, I see their children and their children's children uh, really uh, driving this economy. And I think Cape Breton will be one of the uh, great economic success stories. I really do.